Hello and welcome. This is Rebecca from the GSE VxRail support team. And today I'll be showing you how to run the VxRail Verify tool. To begin, we're going to navigate to the Dell support website and click sign in to log in with your support account. Once you are logged in, we are going to search for VX Verify, and then we should see the knowledge base article, how to run the VX Rail Verify tool. Click that. And please have a quick read through the KB yourself. I have scrolled straight down to VX Verify releases, which is where the scripts are located. Before running the script, ensure that you're checking the KB for the latest release because they're always releasing new scripts every couple of weeks with more checks in them. You want to grab the VX Verify script for the VX Rail version you are currently running. Once it's downloaded, we're going to use WinSCP to SCP to the VX Rail Manager using the Mystic user and drop and drag into the Home Mystic tab. I'm using PuTTY to SSH to the VX Rail Manager and then SU to the root user. And we'll see that the text goes red once we are root. Then we're going to unzip the vxverify.zip file. And we're going to move the vxverify Python to temp vxv. If you haven't run the script before, then you won't have this temp vxv directory. So we'll need to create it. We can do this with the command make directory temp vxv. And then we're going to run the move command again. Using ls-altr, we can see the script in the VXV directory and the permissions currently. We're going to change the permissions, chmod777. And now we can see that it has read, write and execute permissions for all users. To run the script, we're going to put in Python vxverify-r in root, where it's going to prompt us for the vCenter server appliance root password. This will allow the check to also check the vCenter server appliance. Once it's complete, the output will come directly to the terminal. As you can see down the bottom, step 10, archiving all logs to temp vxverify.zip. So then the next time you run it, it will write over temp vxv directory, but you will always have the previous run scripts in temp. Here are the scripts that it runs. Today, we are going to look at the vxverify.txt using the less command, which is the same output that we saw before on the screen. And the vxv.log using the less command. This is a debugging output, which will give you more specific errors to have a look and troubleshoot easier. And that's the end. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.